What's up guys, this is Casey Underhill, and welcome to part 3 of the Japanese Den tutorial. This is where we're going to be doing a lot of the compositing work. Uh, now if you haven't done so already, we're actually going to need our finished render picture. Um, I've actually I've made two render pictures because I have a couple of settings that I want to show you here. Um, First of all, I went a smaller size on the resolution just to speed things up for me since my computer's not great. But uh, over here in the sampling, I rendered it out at 2,500 samples and I still got a lot of fireflies. So I clamped it at 50. Uh, I've tried it with and without clamping and it, I, honestly I don't see much of a difference, but I did it anyways. Now in the light pass section, I did go down to 6 max and 2 minimum. And then I turned my glossy down to 2. And I clicked no caustics. And uh, I have the seed set to 10. Now the other picture that I rendered out, I saved to my hard drive. And I actually set the seed down to 0. I had clamp turned off still at 2500 samples and I left the bounces at 13 max 3 minimum and I think glossy was at 4 and then I left no caustics unchecked um, it basically gave me two kinda separate still firefly fuzzy pictures and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to fix that here as best we can so first of all let me go ahead and add a output viewer node and I'm gonna connect that up with my original image now if your image in the background here if you can't see that image um, or if it's too big or if it's too small I think you use what V the V key and then not not control V shift V nope not shift V maybe alt V there we go alt V V and Alt V will zoom that picture in and out so that you can see it better. <clears throat> uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, input and select image. And I'm going to find that image that I created earlier with the different settings. So now that I have both of these images, I'm going to add a filter, despeckle node. I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate it, and I'm going to make one for both of those images. I'll run both of those through a despeckle. And that's just going to kind of give it a little bit less of a uh, firefly effect. It, it's not a huge difference, but I don't know. I think it helps a little bit. I, we'll see. Uh, let's see. What do I want next? Um... Do, 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 do. I want the uh, converter math. Math? No, 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 no. Not math, not math. Forget that. Uh, color mix is what I'm looking for. And just uh, drag the image to the bottom and your render to the top. <coughs> and we're going to see that this is uh, not really... Oh, well, I don't have it plugged into my viewer. That's why it's not making a difference. Plug that in. You can see what that looks like. Uh, you can leave it at mix if you want to. I actually like to go to add. It makes it a little brighter. I think it's kind of cool. But I think I want to mix it at about 0.6. And because of that, since they both have different orientations for the fireflies, it, it actually clears it up a little bit. So um, now what I want to do is I want to actually... Uh, make this window uh, kind of blow it out just a little bit more so I'm gonna go to do, do, do what am I gonna go to <coughs> uh, filter glare that's what I'm looking for <coughs> and pop that in and where it says streaks I want to change to fog glow and I want to lower that mix ratio down I think a point Seven, maybe maybe a little bit more no nah, 0.7 negative 0.7 for the mix for the threshold maybe a 1.1 put the size at oh nine is not good 
7. We'll keep the size at 7. And I think there's only one thing left that we really need to do. So let's go to uh, color and uh, color balance. We're just going to pop that in here. <coughs> and I just want to give it a little bit of a warm glow. So I'm going to go down here with like the yellowish brown kind of red and I just want to drop just ever so slightly just drop that down and then on that third wheel for the gain I want it to be blue and then I'll pop that up to make it a little brighter and I think <coughs> I think we're pretty much done uh, if you wanted to you could add the uh, I think it's called a vignette uh, where you do like the sort of blackish border that's not really my style but um, you could do it if you wanted to but uh, that's pretty much all there is to it <coughs> that's really not that difficult right just a little bit of post processing and you got your you got your fancy image here so if you guys followed along with this whole tutorial uh, thank you for watching Make sure that uh, you give me a link to your the picture that you created and maybe change some things up or show me a little something better. Maybe you did something different than I did. Uh, uh, make sure you go to my website, uh, caseyunderhill.com, uh, if you want the textures and the models and all that kind of stuff. That is pretty much it. So uh, thank you guys for watching.